Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update pages, numbers, and keynotes. So, let's just get down to this. Up here, you guys will see your Apple logo that's on the top left hand side. Let's just click on your Apple logo. You guys will see the third option where it says App Store. Let's just click right there. Now, if you guys are in the newest Mac OS, that means it will look something like this. And it will be your last option. Updates right here, last option. So if it opens up anywhere else, just open it up in updates. In this window, we will see pages right here. Then we have numbers. And then the very last one we have is Keynote. So if we tap on more, we can see pages, it's version 8.0. For numbers, we have version 6.0, and for Keynote, I think it's 9.0. So yes, version 9.0. To update each one at a time, we can just click on Update right here, or Update All on the top right-hand side. However, if you guys don't see anything coming up here for some reason, we can always go right here and type in the search pages, for example, if that's what we want to update at the moment. And here, we can just tap on Update. We can do the same thing with numbers and Keynote. Keep in mind, if you guys are making any presentations on Keynote, or if you guys are working on something important on numbers, or even pages, I would not update right now, just in case something else goes wrong with the app itself. However, you guys should be good. So here we go, we're gonna update each one. And how long will this update be? Well, they're not humongous updates, so it should only take approximately five minutes for all of them to update each one at a time will take approximately one to two minutes it really does depend on your internet speed and also your max speed if your disk is pretty full and you have almost no more space on your storage then your mac will be running slower and that is one of the side effects so this will take longer just because your mac is kind of slow other than that it's all up to your internet speed so you guys are looking at that. Like I said, it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. If you guys are stuck there for three or four hours, then obviously you guys can refresh and restart the update. But anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.